Uh, right, I'm doing a video here on Open Bazaar. Open Bazaar is a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, marketplace which um, allows people to sell things for Bitcoin. This is the home page here. Um, it works like um, BitTorrents, so you have to download the application. Um, you download it and install it, it doesn't take very long, and then you can put in your uh, bar down here uh, the icon. So you can read all about it at openbazaar.org. Um, and I went online yesterday and made a. So, so when you've downloaded it, you click on your icon. Uh, it takes longer to load than that, it's because I already had it opened. Now, this is, um, just show you here. Uh, there we are, see so this is an independent window, if I put that up there. Um, Uh, independent window that's right so and then if I bring that window that window there I'll just make that one smaller too so you can see that's my browser um, Safari this is a Mac um, so I mean, if I close my browser you see this is still open um, and this exists as a web page just on my computer and other people can ex access this site when my computer is on and this is actually open is it, uh, one of the things that um, the launch press release says or the blog um, is that obviously people might want or prefer to get their site hosted um, remotely so that it is up for 24 hours that's if you don't keep a server on which you're running this for 24 hours yourself at home I mean that's easy enough to do um, but there are I see some people already offering uh, remote hosting whereby you put your um, site remotely and so people look at it 24 hours I, I turned this off overnight because it's still registering and all the rest of it because it takes a time to propagate to the, the network um, and also I have no objection to becoming a network node for this um, now this is the sort of application that will run on top of Ethereum it's, it's uh, Ethereum is a distributed network of computers which all collectively host the Ethereum network, it's like a supercomputer um, and therefore when people trade like this between each other um, it's possible to lay a th on top of that um, smart contracts um, that p they're called trustless contracts uh, whereby um, uh, someone says right I want to buy uh, say here this guitar here this is my 1974 Les Paul which I don't play uh, much anymore um, not because I don't like it I've just been doing other things seemingly forever um, anyway it's, it's a 1974 Les Paul standard you can put click on the photos and then scroll through that one's a bit out of focus so it's that one uh, that's its hard shell case um, it's just a ruler along by the scale length. See, it's 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 a vintage guitar, so it's got buckle rash on the back and all that. So it sounds absolutely awesome. It's a great guitar. Um, so there's a serial number. And you can see, click on your store, and then you can scroll up and down. I've got 18 items on. I've put some art on here as well, which I haven't got the Wall Street. I used to live in a much larger house and had much more room to... So I've got a whole bunch of paintings and what have you, which with nowhere to hang them. Um, and 
so here you see you make yourself a uh, thing so if you then say buy now what happens you can do a moderated payment so that's where your payment is held in a secure wallet until the vendor completes their end of the agreement um, i.e. you say right we will buy that the the money is put in a, a scrow i.e. a secure wallet and then that is released once it arrives uh, and moderators can moderate any disputes on that so say it arrived damaged well the shipping company would know it was damaged as well and presumably it would be insured or whatever um, people deal with each other directly but in the event of a dispute moderators you can actually click in your uh, own um, settings to become a moderator and say what you charge for being a moderator the fees vary. Um, I've seen some as high as five percent. Um, I, I said I would act as a moderator and put a fee of a quarter of a percent. Or you can do direct payment. Direct payment is, I imagine, I suppose, if you come and pick it up or something like that from someone. I mean, I'm in Sweden here, and uh, say if someone in Sweden down the road happened to find it and wanted to buy it and come and pick it up I guess you could do direct payment that way um, but it's not not recommended for obvious reasons the internet being the internet um, so that's what you do with that uh, what other information is there I think maybe the thing to do would be to if I just show you how um, so to edit the thing there are various things you can put you put in the shipping costs I say with shipping um, that I'll arrange it with anyone that's interested um, and what I'd like to do is make the escrow automated and smart contract whereby um, once the online tracking says the item has arrived and it's signed for I mean I've bought guitars and uh, guitar material computers and lots of stuff I've bought over the internet um, and I've I'm quite keen on. I, I like following the, the the tracking and where it you know watch the stages as it comes. I've had stuff sent from America and it's interesting sometimes to see where, where the flight flight what, what you know they take some pretty indirect routes. Um, but anyway, the the that idea there of um, once the shipping notice it's been delivered and signed for it's possible to set up a smart contract whereby once the delivery code comes through the smart contract itself will release the money that's held in the smart contract um, 